Hi there and welcome back to Triplicid. Um Today thought I'd make a quick video. This is my uh, bedside clock, alarm clock, though I don't need an alarm clock these days because uh, I'm retired, uh, which I've had for a number of years and is an American innovative zoom in on that uh, it says on the model on the, a never late executive NL7 DEX dash US I think is US model except if we look on the bottom never gonna focus on this oh yes if we look here it says it's an EU one. So, give it a quick look over. It's got a display here, it's not plugged in, and it's got quite a lot of buttons. It does radio, though I've never used the radio. Um, the reason I got this particular one is because it did 7 2. That is, it would the alarm would go off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but not Saturday and Sunday. So I didn't need to turn it on and off, or I wouldn't forget to turn it on and off on Friday night and Sunday night. Uh, it's controlled by these two knobs at the top, more of those later, and it's got some other buttons. It's quite complicated to program, as I recall. And round the back we have three more knobs, which are sleep nap and setup prefs pre clock with preferences and it's got an aux in so you can wake up to something else other than the radio it's got a headphones i suppose so you can listen to the radio at night while your partner is sleeping and it's got a usb which is just power for a an external light if that's what you want, it's got this wire, which is the radio antenna. <laughs> Come on. And it's got a battery compartment, which I think is for a backup battery, which I haven't been in in years, so it's probably defunct and won't work with one hand, so I'll get it open and bring you back. Okay, yes, the battery is a CR2032, should have one of those. And we have here a meter, which I will turn on to volts DC. Attempt to extract this from here. All right. So we have a meter, it's set to volts DC, we have a battery, and let's see what it gets. 2.9 volts, it's not too far off. There's a 3 volts nominal. But that's 2.9 volts with no load. I think it's suspect, if nothing else, because of its age. Right, so here we have a new one in a packet. And point you at the meter again. Let's try that one. That's going to give us 3.2. Right, well, we'll put that one in and see how we go. At least we know that's right. Okay. In with the battery. We seem to want to sit. In with the battery. On with the battery cover. 
Okay, shall we plug it in and see what it does? Right, try and get the plug in while pointing the camera at the screen and it comes up saying 12 o'clock because it's had no battery in and it's been unplugged so it's forgotten the time. Yeah. On, don't tell me it's going to work perfectly now. It was just the fact the battery was defunct that was causing it to malfunction. Right, shall we see if we uh, shall we see if we can set the time? I should put you back in a stand. It's easier. Okay, press the multimeter into service as a stand so I can point the display straight at the at the screen. So should we set the time to whatever the time is? I'll find something. Ten forty nine. So we have what here? Sleep. I'm set. I do have a manual somewhere. That is more fun. Setup. Should we try pressing setup? All right, yes, we're good. So, sorry. The light is not very good at all. T form is 12 hour. Should we set that to 24 hour? I think we use this I think we use this knob on the top to do that. Oh no, it's now forgotten. Okay, T form. No. T form, that's time format. We use that knob. Yeah, 24 hour. That's the second ring. Press that again. Time. 12.05. Again, let's spin this. No. This is the the problem with it, it doesn't stay time. Okay. And it's come out again. And it just comes out. Now I think the only problem is some of these switches aren't working as well as they might. And that's what it's doing. Whatever. Shall we take it apart 
have a look inside. Out of curiosity, uh, we'll try and put some cleaner on out, switch cleaner on all the switches, put it back together and see if it'll behave then and we can set it and it'll stay on the time. Because what it was doing is you'd look at it half the time and it'd be four dashes like that or it'd say 7.30 for some reason and it's annoying and not very helpful so uh, we're just here to see if we can resurrect it and if we can't resurrect it I've had it for years and years so I think it'll be bye bye okay so got the battery out uh, unplugged it so we don't get a shock because it says on the bottom warning shock hazard do not open and it says in French as well so what are we going to do? we're going to open it Hopefully, we're going to end up with the same number of screws that we started out with. Oh, that's helpful. Two more in the bottom here. Let's see if that gets us in. speaker there for the alarm uh, good old-fashioned transformer none of this switch mode power supply nonsense um, I'm just wondering if you can see in there. and the top's the same Down here we have four more screws which take it apart, I'm guessing, there. There's one here for this cover. Should we get that off? Because I... Oh, oh just. Mm, not sure. Don't think that screwdriver is going to do for those. So, we can get this one out anyway. screwdriver or something to chisel that out okay so we've got a electrical screwdriver see if we can find out how this is supposed to come out if it indeed is supposed to it looks like it comes out there or it looks like maybe it's attached to the circuit board so it comes away with the circuit board right we've got a small Phillips, positive drive, crosshead, go, what you like, or is that going to... No, that's not actually going to... Yes, I know. Right, that screwdriver fits. So, well... Pull these four screws out.
Come on, it's Bay Avenue. looking at it just in case right so here it is it's a part okay so we have a quick walk around this now it's a part so here we have the good old-fashioned transformer as mentioned which goes into this board I'm guessing that is the radio antenna and there are various other indu variable inductors and things on here to do with the radio also I guess the power supply is on that board the back here this board just mounts the USB the USB socket and the two audio sockets uh, at the front here we have the display which I think will come out one handed maybe maybe not down the front sort of but not really okay which has got the display and right here we're, here we're pushing the video camera to its limits see if I can get some light in there put it down there and there you can see a black blob which has I guess just a microcontroller under it which is doing all the work I guess and okay around the front here we have some tack switches which correspond which are operated by these buttons here and on the top we have a board which has these only these three wires going which so I guess that is just the switches and buttons dare I take that apart <laughs> that's the question so this is one of the buttons I have switches a homemade switch and if we look on the camera if we look if we look on the camera of course we're looking on the camera and if we look at these we can see some tarnish or something on there and I think the other end of this just makes contact with this ring here and if I spin it round we can see can we shine a torch on it oh. which has a switch mode driver for the LEDs which is interfering with the camera frame rate yeah we can see some crud on that inner ring And the other switch presumably has a similar arrangement on the top. This one here. Um, yeah, go on, let's take it apart. Okay, going in. 
so we can get it back together. I guess the first thing we want to do is oh, take this rotor off. This screw I think is gummed in with some sort of a uh, not. Is this now left off? That would appear Okay, it might be that this, let me zoom in a bit. Right, it might be that this, which is just a piece of copper, I think, which connects this cruddy thing to one of these contacts, is somehow glued on or this is melted over the top somehow. Let us see if we can. You can't see anything. Right, I am going to take a scalpel. Chiseling on there. Gotcha. Right. Should we maybe back off a little? Right, should we get all these screws out?
Right, all this board it will come off now. I see no reason why it shouldn't. It will. Are we still in scratch up? We are right. Yes. We see that and this and this. It looks as though somebody, I can't imagine who, has spilt something unspeakable and brown in it at some point. Okay, so it seems this assembly has that screw to come out. screws and just oh, I don't know whether you can see that but that the tab clips onto there <coughs> did I want to do that I don't think so come on let's see if we can get a screwdriver under the tab yeah the other one Got that off. Is it all going to come away now? That ring is going to come off. Sorry, doing shots. And what else is going to come away? One shot. All right. So this outer ring has what looks like a a gear wheel on it. Does it come away from the inner ring? Doesn't matter. Okay, a gear wheel on it, and that. Oh, I zoom you in. Oh, zoom you in. One day, I remember which way the zoom goes on that camera. screws together with the relative bits the screw goes with that bit so that so that little thing that sticks out is operated by that gear and presumably if you're turning it one that way say anti-clockwise it'll make that switch and bounce back if you're turning it that way it'll make that switch and bounce back so we know which way round it's going uh, I don't really can see that that has a little what's it oh Okay, that comes off there, <laughs> we find out. That uh, probably comes off there, but I do not see any reason to take it off. Right. Let's put that back on. Okay, so what I shall do is I shall clean all the gunk off everything. Is there any need to pull that off? No. I shall clean all the gunk off everything. And I shall clean all the contacts up. Uh, and I shall put it back together. Okay, so. Uh, took the 
dog out for a walk, had some lunch, uh, did a few other bits and pieces and I'm back on this. So I'm pretty sure I won't be able to remember how to put it back together again. But first we've got to clean up these switches. I did do a bit, I've got some here, some pan scrubber stuff. And I've got the trusty surgical spirit. So the combination of those So with a combination of those I'm going to clean it up. I did have a small go of this so you can still see there's some gunk on there but I've got some of the worst stuff. No, it doesn't want to come off just with alcohol. Uh, and I can't, you can't see what I'm doing either. Oh, that's not good. Scratch with a scalpel blade. There we go. Right, give that another wipe off with some alcohol and call that clean. Looks clean to me. Right, shall we look at this thing? That doesn't look too clean either. Is that in a contact that seems to have succumbed? Right, I'm going to use a very gently a fine file on this. Well, not so gently. It's not having any effect. Let's try this. That looks good. No plan A. That looks good. Give that a clean. Oops, try to drop it on the desk. So that's that bit. There's a wipe off at least.
got most of it off. of the ground brown gunk ended up straight into my finger huh what do you reckon god knows what it was huh brown gonk in an attempt to do it where the camera can see it. I've got the gonk on the circuit board now. Let's clean that again. That'll do, it's only a plastic bit. Right, which leaves us with these contacts here, I'm going to try finding them. Don't think these had ever got any gunk in them. I'll we'll just take a magnifying glass. Give them a clean. And we will. put it all back together so I believe the first thing which should I just back us up a bit okay yes you can see I'll do in a bit so that way those sets of contacts go, and this way, those sets of contacts go. And that is a clicky thing as well. Okay, I'm not going to bother trying to clean that gunk off there. One last wipe of this. And I should put this on. Now we've got oh boy. I think is a unique screw. Yes, the others are smaller. So I'm fancying that is the one that goes in there and holds that on. Ah, wait a minute. We have this bit here. Not forgetting this bit here. Scrape off some of this brown gunge. Ah. 
and undo. Let me scrape off the brown gun from the top. It's not going to stop it working, but we might as well while we're at it. No idea what that is. So that goes on there. Nope. There we go, and that was the little screw that held that on. Right. So those four are these four. So I think I'm missing one. I think that screw goes in there. And I'm missing a short screw. Aha. Found it, thank God. Right. Just take any current finger marks off there, and we will check now this knob. Yeah. So that is that one. That one should be connected. So that is at that angle. Gonna persuade the damn thing back on now. Right, we'll take a short intermission there, I think. Okay. So, we can check that this goes round. So there's a plastic detent on the knob on the top, which stops it going right the way around. And that lines up correctly with the switch contact. So we can put this bit on, which goes on like that. And we can put in its little screw. Excellent. I just hope I've broken, not broken any of these. When I was mucking around, they are clamped down. I've twisted them around. And next, it's the top and the front. So we just give that a, a little wipe over. The 
wipe over with some alcohol. Scrape with my finger now. Gunk off. That's going to come off. Uh, I see the little spot of gunk there. Now it's what it is. Like glue. Right. So these holes here are for the switches. I believe. Yes, to locate those switches. So that goes in. Like that. Oh, I see. Well, don't break it. And there should be four of these little screws, which there are, which I now can't get in. Well, number three. Sorry, I'm not a good view of my hand. Right, do we think that's okay? Just give a gentle tweak. Torque wrench. Okay, so we now need the rest of the clock. I think quite carefully slot this down onto here. Where the hell is
Gotcha. Crunchy some of them, but they all seem to work. So to hold that on, we have one, two, three, and this one here, I believe. Let's get them in. They just go in a long way. Good end on them all up. Right. I think at this point we might We might plug her in and see what if she's any better. Or if we made a complete mistake and it's not going to work at all. Well, it's working, but the display is super dim. Why? Us. Put that back in. We didn't need to take it out. And the battery. Get in. See, but I can't. Twenty-four hour time. Fifteen thirty. Day 
fourth. So it seems to be working a lot better. I've been able to. Yeah, 2007 was that the year I bought it? Must be. Now, 19. So, we have cured the problem, but the display seems to be terribly dim. I don't know whether that's just because the light's bright in here, so the camera will actually work, or whether the display is dim. Okay, well we'll leave it for now, and the camera is flashing at me to tell me the memory is full. Okay, it was actually the battery indicator that was flashing. The batteries were going down, so we've charged up the camera a bit. And we can finish putting it back together. So, there should be six screws here. Let's get rid of that. There are, uh, there are four threaded ones and two self-tappers. Okay, so I think the two self-tappers go in the bottom, the four threaded ones. Go in the sides and I think this goes on like this. Yep, there. there's a gap in there which I now can see so the sound from the speaker can get out forwards. Mm hmm. Ah, that sound from the speaker. What have I done? Okay, no idea what I've done. No. Off on. Press that button. YouTube will probably now want me to pay a license fee for playing the radio. Right, done, and it works. It displays the time reliably, but seems to have gone dim. However, only use it 
I mean, you have a look at it in the dark, so that's not a problem. We'll see how it goes, whatever. It doesn't owe me anything. So, that's it. Just a sort of fun little repair job, really. Um, a light-hearted entertainment. Um, so, I think I'll uh, call it a day here. And uh, if you like what you've seen, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave us a thumbs up or even a thumbs down. Or... Uh, comment if you've got one of these old things and I'll see you next time so for now it's goodbye from Triplicate home of interesting electronics goodbye